Liver disease deaths are on the rise, and doctors say alcohol is to blame. A new study shows more young adults are impacted due to excessive drinking. Tracy Leong has more on this troubling trend. Millennials are drinking themselves to death, according to a recent medical journal report. Is it peer pressure? Um, is it job pressure? There was a significant rise in alcohol-related issues after 2008 when there was a, uh, a recession. Between 1999 and 2016, researchers say deaths from cirrhosis and alcohol-related liver disease increased by 65 percent. People 25 to 34 saw the biggest spike overall. I was an alcoholic at a very young age. And I started drunk at a very young age as well. So between the two, it attacked my liver. 57-year-old Janet Kaisamore is currently enrolled in a program at Franklin Square Hospital to treat patients with liver disease. MedStar Georgetown University Hospital's Dr. Thomas Faust is in charge of this clinic. The patient can talk uh, to members of the transplant team at Georgetown, including a surgeon, social worker, dietitian, financial counselor and transplant coordinator and then we present these patients to our committee at Georgetown and get them listed. Georgetown is one of the biggest liver transplant programs in the region. Dr. Faust says the dramatic surge in cirrhosis deaths highlights the importance of disease prevention and the need for further research. It really made me a much happier person knowing that they're there for me when needed <laughs> and for those who need it the help is there. The study also found that deaths from cirrhosis were highest in western and southern states but here in Maryland it was the only state to see a decrease. Reporting in Baltimore, Tracy Leong for WJZ. This study was published in the Baltimore